Wondering how to create a Facebook business page for business? It's actually easier than most people think. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how to do it. And you can actually have a new page up in about five minutes. Welcome to 5-Minute Social Media, where we help overwhelmed business owners make more profits and revenue from social media with less work. Yes, it's possible. And if that sounds like something you'd like in your business, take a second, hit subscribe, click that bell. That way you'll be notified each week when we release another helpful video. My name is Jerry Potter. Yes, it rhymes with the boy wizard. And in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to create a Facebook page for your business. Not only how to do it, but how to do it really well. And at the very end, I'm gonna show you the four essential elements you're gonna want your page to have so that when somebody visits your page, they quickly become hopefully at least a follower, but actually a buyer, a client, or customer. So make sure you watch to the end for that. So I'm just here on in a browser facebook.com and we're going to click on that circle in the upper right with the nine little circles inside of it that's going to be the menu link and then there's a whole bunch of stuff that comes up here but under create on the right we're going to go down to page and this is where you're going to start creating your page go ahead and hit that button for create page and it opens this right up this is the page creation interface. So the first thing you're gonna need is a name for your page. Generally, this is gonna be the name of your business or your organization. You can put whatever you want. So I'm gonna make up this business called Magnetic Marketing and we will create the page for that. Next, you're gonna choose a category to describe the type of business that you have. And this is important because this is gonna help Facebook recommend your business to people when they are searching. Now. There are hundreds of possible categories. So just start typing what your business is about and then a bunch of different options will come out. So look, I've got marketing agency, advertising marketing, internet marketing service. Um, I could probably put it under consulting, coaching, you know, all kinds of things. So just try different words until you find something that makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and choose internet marketing service as the core product or the core category. Now you can actually have up to three. The first one will be the one that shows at the top of your page though. So right here in the middle where it says magnetic marketing, you notice underneath it says internet marketing service. Now, if I wanna add more categories, I might go back in and say, also it's a marketing agency and advertising slash marketing, but only the first one will show there. So if you accidentally found a better one after you added more, you can just X out of these and then add the one you want first first and then add the other ones back in. Next, you're gonna put in a description for your page. And this can just be a sentence or two about what your business is or does, just so people know. Often they can't tell by the topic of the, you know, the name or the category that you chose above. So I'm just gonna drop this in here. Marketing agency for companies that specialize in magnetic products like whiteboards, car signs, and more. So that's it. Now. That's all that you can do on this page. Down here at the bottom, it says create page. And yes, your page will exist the moment you hit this button. Now, sometimes people get nervous at this point because they go, oh, it's not ready. I don't wanna have it out there yet, right? Like if you were opening a brick and mortar store, you wouldn't open your front doors until the store was done being built, right? But your page is essentially gonna be hidden until you start inviting people to it and letting people know about it. So if you go ahead and put your page up, the odds of somebody actually coming across it very, very unlikely. So feel secure hitting that button without worrying about somebody seeing your unfinished page. So I'm gonna hit create page. It'll take a few seconds. It says magnetic marketing agency was created. Now you can add images and go to your page to add more details. Now, while that's uploading, let's talk about what your profile picture should be. So if you are the face of a company or you're a single person company, I would strongly recommend it being your face, even if you're introverted or shy. And the reason for this is people connect with faces. So it's very attention grabbing. Now, if you're not the face of the company and you wanna put a company logo up there, that's totally fine as well. The key thing to remember is that this profile picture, while it looks you know, pretty good size here on a browser while you're creating your page, most of the time people see it, it'll be a little tiny circle on a mobile device. So you want it, if it's gonna be your face, it should be a close up. If it's going to be your logo, it should be you know your logo at full size without any extra taglines or slogans or anything underneath. And if your logo is, uh, on, is the thing that you're using, remember, it's gonna show up as a circle. So if your logo is made into a square, make sure everything shows within the circle. So you can see where it shows up here on the page and it's a decent size right here, but on a mobile device in a lot of places, it's gonna be much, much smaller. 
Next up is to scroll down and add a cover photo. And that's gonna be this big image on the top of your Facebook business page. And it could just be a picture of your product or your service, or if you have a brick and mortar, it could be a picture of your store. Don't overthink it right now. Just put a photo up there. When we talk at the end of this video about the four things your page needs to have to convert visitors into followers and buyers, then we'll go a little bit deeper about how you can be more strategic with what you put up there. But don't overthink it right now. Don't let this hold you up. Just get something up there. If you are going to specifically put up something that maybe has words on it or a graphic that you created. I do want to give you these dimensions. It looks different on different devices. So this is what I've been using that works really well. The overall image is 2050 or 2050 by 780 pixels. So like I made this in Canva. If you're not familiar with Canva, I've linked to tutorial in the description of this video. But if that's the overall size of it, but then you have to keep in mind that there's gonna be 325 pixels about cropped off on each side on a mobile device. So you need everything in this middle white space. So I've linked to a template that you can use totally free in the description of this video as well to get that sized right because I wasted hours being frustrated trying to figure this out. So I'm happy to share this now with you. And then the last option down here for setting up your business page, it says stay informed about your page. Basically, this is an on off toggle and you're probably gonna wanna leave it on because that way you'll know if somebody comments on a post, leaves a review, sends you a message, things like that. If you turn that off, then you may not know when that stuff happens. So I'll go ahead and hit save. First thing that pops up is it's gonna say, hey, do you wanna connect it to WhatsApp? If you use WhatsApp, because that's owned by the same company, you can click out of those. And then here we are, here is the page. Now, because this is a fake business, I just put up this cover photo that shows the dimensions, that template, but obviously you'll have something different for your business there. Couple more things you're gonna wanna set up that are really important. Next, you wanna create a username and the username basically after facebook.com in the address bar. So if we look up here at the top, it says facebook.com slash magnetic dash marketing dash agency dash this big long number. You're not gonna give that to anybody to type in, right? So we want something nice and short that fits there. And so I'm gonna click on create at username and I'm gonna go ahead and guess on a username and I tested a couple of these before we started to make sure that I could find something that works. But let's say I just put in magnetic. I'm sure, I hit enter. I'm sure that somebody already has that as a username. So then it comes up with this red warning. This username's not available. Oh, it actually says it contains words that aren't allowed on Facebook. Okay, occasionally that will come up. I don't know why magnetic is not allowed on Facebook. That's interesting. So I'm gonna put in something that I'm sure is available. We'll try magnetic marketing LLC. And there you go, that's available. So you might have to try a few things to get something that's available for your business. So you can say to somebody, oh yeah, you can just go to facebook.com slash, like my page, facebook.com slash five minute social media, not facebook.com slash five, F-I-V-E dash minute dash social and a bunch of numbers and letters or anything like that. So you just want something that's nice and simple and easy to remember and just keep tweaking it until you find something that works. So I hit create username says you are all set, you've got your username, and now you can send people to these nice, easy to remember links or easier to remember. Now, last couple of steps, and then I wanna tell you the four essential things that your page is gonna want on it. Um, down here, you can go through and it'll tell you the things you haven't done. So for example, you can add your website, location info, if you're a brick and mortar, you have an address, your business hours, fill out as much of this stuff as you possibly can, because all of that stuff can help you get found in search on Facebook. Tom Love, who is in one of my coaching programs, he actually put up his Facebook business page, fill out all the information, and somebody found him by searching for him 30 minutes after he put it up. So put everything up. Maybe you don't get a lot of calls, but you have a business phone number. Go ahead and have it on there. Basically, you want the information that people are looking for easily available to them. Down here, it says, invite friends to like your page. Don't do this, okay? Facebook doesn't recommend this as many places as they used to, but it still pops up occasionally. Here's why you don't wanna invite all of your friends and family to like your page. Once your page is up and running, you're posting content regularly, essentially the amount of people that your page is gonna reach is gonna be based on how engaging your content is. So for this fake company where I teach people how to market with magnets, if I invite my mom and my cousin and my brother and my friends and all of that kind of stuff to follow it, and I'm specifically posting information about how to market businesses with magnets, apparently, and they're not interested in that, they're not gonna engage, and that's actually gonna hurt the overall reach of the page. So I know it's tempting, you wanna get that number, you're like, oh, there's only eight people, I sure wish I had 25, now I wish I had 50. You wanna get that number up there, but in the long run, you'll be much better off by building it slowly, 
with the right people that are actually interested in the stuff that you are posting. So your page is up, and now I want to talk about the four essential things your page needs to make sure that it converts visitors into followers and buyers. And I actually teach this in depth in a workshop that I have called Profitable Pages and Profiles, but let me give you these four things. And the first one is when somebody lands on your page, you want to make sure they know the problem you solve. So what we tend to do is we just... tend to put up what we do, right? And that might already be there. For example, if you're a real estate agent, then you probably chose real estate agent or real estate broker as your page category. But there's no faster way to get someone's attention than with the problem that they're looking to solve. So think about that. What is the problem you solve and have that maybe on your cover photo or somewhere really easy to see at the top of your page? The number two thing you want is why are you different? Consumers are bombarded. All of us see over 10,000 brand messages per day. So if you want them to remember you more than five seconds later after they leave your page, you got to let them know why are you different? Why are you different than all the other people out there that solve the problem that you are looking to solve? The number three thing you want to make sure to include is something that leaves them curious. Curiosity is a very powerful emotion. It's been actually been compared to hunger. You know how like when you're starving, you're like, oh my gosh, I'll eat cardboard at this point. I'm so hungry. Well, when somebody is curious, there's some a gap in their brain. It, they really want to fill it. And so if you can make them curious about your business or how you solve the problem you ha- that they have, you're going to get way more comments, messages, inquiries, calls booked, all of those things. And the number four thing you're going to want to make sure to have is what do you want them to do next? I can't tell you how often I see this missing. And I know as a business owner, it's like, oh, well, just click on contact me and find my phone number and call me or whatever it might be. But just give them one specific thing. What do you want them to do? Do you want them to download a freebie? Do you want them to check your calendar and book a call? What do you want them to do? Everyone is uh, busy and overwhelmed and distracted and sometimes lazy. So the easier you make it for them to take that next step, the more likely that they are to do it. So for people that really want to nail this to convert visitors into followers and buyers, I teach all four of those and more specifics on how to do it, the problem you solve, why you're different, how to leave them curious and what you want them to do next. In a workshop, it's called Profitable Pages and Profiles. Hundreds, maybe thousands of entrepreneurs have been through it at this point. And if you'd like to check it out, you can go to ProfitablePage.com. I told you about Tom Love. They got a new client from Facebook 30 minutes after he hit publish. Lots of other uh, people have gotten new customers and clients booking a thousand or more dollars in business within 24 to 48 hours of applying this to their social media profiles. So check that out at ProfitablePage.com. And was this helpful? Is this going to help you get your Facebook page for business set up? If so, let me know by liking this video or leaving me a comment. You're not only supporting me, but also my two tiny superheroes at home.